Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Buko Boys. Hello! <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, brother. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm just doing great. Fine and dandy? Fine and dandy. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> so, how was your weekend? My weekend has been good. We just went... Uh, we had dinner today together. We did. And we were looking at people on social media. <laughs> you well, up. What it was was we were just kind of talking about old people from the, the from neighborhood. The hood. From the old neighborhood. From the hood. And we were, we were start, we, I don't know why. I don't remember how this came up, but we just started thinking about people and said, well, shit, we're in 2021. We can find people online nowadays. And we found a couple of them. And some of them, I don't know if they're alive or dead. I'm sure they're dead. We found out some people have died. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, though, right? Like, um, you can do that today, and, and when like when we were kids, the internet wasn't even a thing. It no. wasn't even a thing. Like, I was just telling your daughter, because uh, we went out with, what did we do with her? We went out with her recently. And I, or maybe we were just hanging out, and I was just telling her, I just said, hey, you know, like, connect, like, because she's going to be a senior next year, right? She's like a couple of weeks left of her junior year, mm-hmm. and I was giving her some advice, and I just was telling her how, you know, your senior year, like, make friends with everybody. Like, make tons of friends with different groups of people and connect with them online because that was just something we never could do. It's like once once you less like once you got out of school and graduated, if you didn't stay in contact, like you don't know when you'd ever see them again. Maybe at a grocery store. Speaking of that, I need to buy tickets for my twenty year high school reunion. It's when 20, is it? It's in August. But the tickets of this year? Like, yeah. Crazy, right? Twenty oh. years. You already hit your twenty years. Yeah. But it is weird thinking that it's been twenty years. And it's just high school was only three years of your life, but it was just was such an impact. And speaking of what we were just talking about, it's crazy to know that I've had some friends that have died since graduation. You know, it's like in oh, the yeah. last 20 years of graduation, I've had friends that have died that yeah. I went to school with, high school with. It's weird. Oh, yeah. It's um, weird to think about. And then just talking about this, too, it was funny uh, having to buy tickets to go to this high school reunion. Uh-huh. It's like... I wanted to get out of high school so bad. Now we're paying to go hang out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, we did. You know, we did ours uh, two years ago. I was two. I'm two years older than you, so we did our twenty. Um, oh, good thing, right? Because imagine last year, but probably didn't. There was no reunion no. last year, but uh, we did ours two years ago. And uh, most people, you know, I stayed in contact with, uh, with the help thanks to social media, you were able to like, connect from friends to friends. Yeah, you know. Um, but there's some people I would see and I, I'm just like, I recognize your face, but I have not seen you in 20 years and I hardly saw you in school, <laughs> but I, but now, like hindsight, now that you're a, you're at a mature adult, it's like, I wish, I wish I did know you. I wish I knew you a little better. That's, that's kind of like some advice I was telling your daughter. Like just make friends with everybody. Don't have a boyfriend. Don't get, cause you know, guys at yeah, that age are jealous. Don't have a boyfriend. Don't have a boyfriend. Guys at that age are just jealous anyway. And then you, and you, you, you hold out and miss out. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. So, and I know a lot of high school kids that are listening to this because we're we're big in the high school girl crowd. <laughs> we, <So. laughs> we can't help it. That's our they, market. <laughs> they find us attractive. <laughs> just kidding, I, don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, we had a fun little dinner today. It was funny just talking about people like, oh, remember this person? Oh, remember this person? Oh, this person died. You know, it's yeah. kind of interesting. Well, I'm not surprised that person's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> and we were talking about people like, uh, we were talking about these twins from the neighborhood. Like, one of them's got to be dead and one's got to be in jail, right? Like, that's just, that's just kind of the path they were on from the from the early get-go, <laughs> right? <laughs> you just knew something was happening with those boys. <laughs> but anyway, what's, what else has been going on with you? I just went fishing weekends. all weekend. You did go fishing all weekend. Three days in a row. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm tired. Yeah, that, I, I, I'm I so say, tired. Down in the sun, beat you up. Yeah, and I wanted to nap, but, but I didn't nap. The weather turned. It got really nice here in, in Salt Lake, uh, but it is getting... It's going to storm here in a second. Yeah, but it's going to be a rainstorm. I think we're done with snow. I think I can take my snow brush out of my car. I think. Yeah, <laughs> we're halfway through May. I think you can. <laughs> well, it snowed two weeks ago, roughly. Well, um, that snow's not the same. It's just like a sprinkle, and then it's melted. It was, it was weird that it snowed. No, it sometimes it happens in June. But bad. Stop it. Stop. It, it felt good catching a lot of bass, though, this weekend. That feels good. You're I'm catching some what? Kicking some bass. Oh, bass. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how that feels, though, because you don't fish anymore. But I man, know, but I, re- I do remember catching bass. All my uh, So, bass has been, like, something new for me in these last couple of years. 
Because okay. I grew up That's my favorite. Teaching, my, teaching myself how to fish and doing easy stuff like fishing from shore and just throwing bait and just letting it sit there and waiting forever. Um, I hate that shit now. Can't do that anymore. Yeah. I gotta be active when I fish. So, um, got into bass fishing and got my kayak and then, um, yeah, that's so much fun. Bass is my favorite. And buying all new gear, like just getting, cause I had gear and I always bought like cheap stuff, uh-huh. just things that made sense of what I needed and as much as I can afford. Now I'm buying like top of the line gear and it is a world of difference. <laughs> world of difference. <laughs> Small mouth was my favorite. I just feel like those those suckers fought to the death. Small mouth and large mouth are both f- fun. Well, yeah, I'm just saying small mouth was my favorite. Small mouth are, I found, more abundant here in Utah. I can see that. Yeah. Way more abundant. Um, not that many lakes have large mouth here. Yeah. But, boy, is that fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of you, like, you know, get, upgrading your, your fishing material, we actually went golfing. We were talking about upgrading my golf Oh yeah, we golf stuff. Do that anyway, we had a good time golfing. Forgot as well. we did that. That's right. Yes. We did do that. Do that early in the morning. Um, that was way early. It was eight in the morning. I mean, for golf, I didn't know that they were open that early. Because <laughs> you were wondering, this golf course open at six in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I had no idea. For me, it was perfect. The weather was great. It was nice and cool. It did start warming up on us. But, yeah, it did. But the view, we were this. We were at. Um, in fact, if you if you follow either of our social media, we post about it. Uh, that we, we went up golfing. Mine's on Snapchat. Everything I do is on Snapchat mostly. So oh, is it? I'm a big nerd. And and the, the view we had, oh my gosh. It was a beautiful view of the city. Yeah, and the, the mountain course is awesome. Yeah, the golf course is nestled up in the mountains. Like right up against it. It was nice. So that was our little... Well, what else did we do? I had a Buco Boys exclusive. <laughs> Where did you go see? So I went to the University of Utah... The Rice Eccles Stadium, where the, the football team plays. Um, and then they have other events there. Big announcement, Garth Brooks is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably not going, however. Um, <laughs> but I got a tour of the new south end of the stadium, because they have expanded it. So the south end was always a little bit smaller. And there was a lot of extra, ex, extra space uh, on the ground. Well, they've tore that whole south end down, and they re- are remodeling it. And they're calling it the Performance Zone. They're using it also as maybe a recruiting tool. There's going to be a recruiting area there. There's a bunch of suites, um, extra recruiting seating. area. Like what people are going to do, just go there and show how good they are. Watch watch me run. No, I don't know what it is. I, no, just a, a facility for them to be at. It's like a facility. Hmm. Um, I don't know what it's going to be because it's, uh, it's all under construction right now. But there are you know mock drawings and animations of what it's going to be like. There's going to be a lounge. Uh, and it's just for the people in the South End area that get season tickets in the South End area. There's going to be a lounge. They're going to have their own bathroom. They don't have to share their own concession. They don't have to share with everyone else in the stadium. There's going to be like, they have, they have to wear like extra wristbands or something um, just to say, don't, again, going back to the sneeches, right? You have to be <laughs> it's a special star on your belly to be in this section of the South End. One thing that sucks about college games is that they can't serve alcohol. They can't? No, they don't. I can't, I'm trying to remember if they did. Maybe. You know? Well, yeah, that's right. That's what they the whole don't point of Yeah. <laughs> that's and the whole then, point of tailgating. And then they don't let you, they don't allow you to re-entry. So at halftime, if you want to go get drinks in the car, you can't come back in. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's I don't right. Remember. But you've been to more games than I have. I know, but I don't remember <laughs> all this. A lot of it was a blur from tailgating beforehand. <laughs> But me and my wife are getting season tickets in this new South End section, so we're pretty we're pretty excited. Awesome. We've never had we never had season tickets. I've been on a wait list for many years, and when they opened up this new South End area, there was a possibility of getting uh, being first time season ticket holders. Um, the donation's a little higher. <laughs> There's a one time donation, um, a one time initial donation. And then after that, you get to you know you have to make an annual donation. There's tiers, right? You're different tiers, but we're gonna we have to make a one time donation and buy our tickets. But uh, I'm going, we're pretty excited about it. That'd be dope. And we've got some concerts coming up. I just found that we're going to not not gonna be at the stadium, but nearby where the Utah Jazz play. I can't wait to go back to concerts again. Yeah, we, well, we got two. We've got um, in October. Me and my wife are going to Michael Bublé. 
right. the beginning of October, and we just found out today, at the end of October, another person's coming that we're getting tickets for, Andrea Bocelli. At least they're so far away. October's so far that's away. That's five months, man. That's, that's five That'll be here before you know it. May, well, June, July. Right. Yeah, I mean, that months. flies by. That's going to fly by. But five months for a concert waiting is forever. Just like... Well, we've been waiting for... Michael Dubois for a year because it's been postponed. Right. So we're, we've been waiting a, a year. Well, a like, year and a half, basically. The weekend point. announced concert tickets months ago for a concert, I think, in like March t- of next year. Yeah, yeah, next year. March of 2022. <laughs> yeah. Most tickets are on sale. This is crazy so far out, but I guess it's to to prepare not I guess not to have to worry about postponing it over and over and over again. Yeah, that's true. Well, you know, the I just heard I just read something that flights, air flights, people are starting to buy a ton of tickets now to go travel because of the relaxation of the mask mandates now. Oh, I'm so and, happy. And the C D C and President Biden have all just said, hey, for the most part, we're going to be on the honor system. If you've been vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. So that's, that's what the CDC and, and, the, and, and President Biden himself have all said that. He, he, he basically said, if you've been vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. I've been so happy. To you know, uh, again, one. based on businesses, some businesses will still make you wear one. But we went to a store today and... We went to a few stores, no masks. No I haven't mask been either. wearing it all weekend. And then all the stores, uh, gas stations, whatever I walk I into, either. I haven't been wearing it and nobody's been saying anything nope. to me. It's great. Oh, now, they're, they're, they are doing like an honor system, right? Like I, I, they're saying if you've been vaccinated, you don't need to worry about it. I got my passport to park. But experts say people might lie about the honor system. <laughs> experts, huh? <laughs> That's mm. what I read in this article. It was, it was talking about how the CDC has relaxed the mandates. According to state laws, you know things like that. And then it said, experts say the honor system. People might lie during the honor system. I said, you don't. I say. don't care <laughs> if they lie. I don't care if they want and don't want to wear masks. That I don't care. We have to get back to normal. Yeah, but I myself don't want to wear one. So, <laughs> but if everyone else around me wears one, it's cool. Go ahead. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't want to wear one around me, cool. Yeah, and if you if you don't like that, I'm not wearing it. Go around me. Exactly. <laughs> stay, stay, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay out of coffee. Go on, get. Go on, get. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> funny, funny. Um, but yeah, it was it was fun to go to the store and not have to worry about wearing a mask. Yep. All week, all since last week, I think the only time I put one on, where was I? I think it was just out of like habit on accident because it that damn thing turned into a habit. Yeah. So well, sometimes you feel like guilty if you walk in somewhere and everyone else is wearing one, but you kind of stare at you. Yeah, you kind of feel like oh, I want to be. Scared I just at smile. Me. Like you could, you see me smile. <laughs> you see, you see that? I can't see yours. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, it feels it feels great not having to wear that stupid damn thing. Yeah, and then I kind of felt the way I walked into a Walmart, and. And yeah, like everyone, I didn't wear one walking in. Almost everyone was wearing it. Went inside. But I was like, well, I'm still, I'm still not wearing. The it. only time I actually felt it being beneficial wearing a mask was leaving a store in the winter time, walking to my car, and leaving the mask on outside because it kept my cold. face warm. Yeah, that's the only time I felt that thing being beneficial. Or pumping gas and wearing the mask because it was it was warm. I don't face. know what that feels like anymore. <laughs> gas, huh? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you don't believe in that. No. no. Actually, talking about me going into that Walmart, I was just walking around. I was looking for some razor. So when I shave, I use a straight razor and a safety razor. What are you using these days, brother? I just use a trimmer. Trimmer. So this is a commercial for... Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like that. Sounds as like... As, I, as I'm talking about it, it sounds like I'm going to get into a mid-roll <laughs> ad. Yeah, it did. It really did. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say you used? Uh, I use this, just a trimmer. Oh, the, trimmer. Okay. The one blade. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I use a safety razor. Because of the one blade. <laughs> I feel fresh and clean. Smooth as a baby's ass. <laughs> if you would like, what are you just kidding? I use it on my bush. <laughs> of course. I'm bush free. <laughs> Bushy eyebrows, bushy... Exactly. <laughs> Mustachio. Yeah. But Jeez. anyways, so I'm, I'm walking around looking for, for, for my blades, right? And uh, I get to this section, and it's where the, like, the contraceptives are, right? Okay. And 
I'm, I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna pull this picture so I can make sure I read it right. So I'm looking. I think I took a picture because I'm seeing these items. Those are condoms. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at this section, and it's this condoms brand. Now, is it a famous uh, brand? I, I've never heard of it. Okay, now they had two items here that I was surprised to see in a Walmart. I don't know why. Did, did I showed you this picture. Is that surprising to you? To that this is at a Walmart? Walmart? Yeah, that it's just you can just grab it. Anyone can grab it and purchase it. I mean, surprised that they're selling it as what it is, what it's intended for. Okay. Um, because people would buy other things that would do the same thing as that. Yeah. So I'll only tell you what I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, just say one. It. But but the the, the uh, packaging is also I find very elusive. <laughs> Psychedelic, man. So, again, this is a Walmart. It's about euphoria. It's a vibrating bullet. Yeah, that's a good time. A vibrating bullet and then a vibrating wand. Now, I remember a few years ago, you know, if you went to, like, you know, I don't know, Groupon or even, like, Home Shopping Network or something, you see these vibrating wands. But what were they advertised as? Do you remember what they were advertised as? Back massagers. Personal massagers, yes. They were advertised as personal massagers. Well, what are they really massaging? Their personal spaces. For <laughs> 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 diddling. <laughs> diddling records. <laughs> <laughs> for scratching records. That's exactly what they're for. <laughs> so I was surprised. So like, I could see the, the vibrating wand being pulled off as a, as a personal massager, right? Because people buy those for their shoulders and their back. Yeah, yeah, I see them at the normal. airport all the time. Yeah. At the Brookstone. I'm like, I really? Now, the vibrating bullet, that's straight up. What do you think that is? Well, like, yeah, what, what else can well, you advertise I mean, that for? This is in the contraceptive section. That's exactly what these are for. This is for good times to be had. I, were you surpri- are you surprised that this isn't a Walmart? Not I find it, I'm very surprised by I'm it. I'm not surprised Why by it. Why are you not? Because Walmart wants to make money on everything. I get it. And, and this isn't, so this isn't a place where people are going to go buy things for sex. Yes. They're going to buy condoms for sex. How dare you say that on this podcast? Sex. Uh, <laughs> earmuffs. <laughs> so anyways, they're going to be boning. And <laughs> this being in the section, uh-huh. I mean, it's just the accessory for boning. <laughs> yeah. And so or people pleasure. Well, instead of people having to go to other stores to find these pleasure toys, <laughs> yes. Walmart's going to capitalize on it because that's what they do. They capitalize like crazy. I'm surprised that these aren't like locked up either. I guess if they were to something, they would be maybe be. I'm sure there's up. cameras on them. In this aisle, are there cameras? Because I, I, I think can't remember. I think in this aisle, you have more responsible people buying condoms. They're not going to be stealing them. Yeah. Where in the makeup section, that's where you got all the troublemakers stealing. Yeah. That's why they got cameras on there like crazy. Letting that's you know, why they're own, watching you. That's why they have their own self or their own checkout section. Yeah. Or the makeup yeah. section. Yeah. They're like, hey, we know you're going to steal. Get out. Yeah. We're watching you teenagers. But when you go down the condom aisle, they're like, oh, you're responsible. <laughs> go, go treat yourself. Good for you. Good for you. Go treat yourself. <laughs> Here, this is how this works. <laughs> <laughs> you want to demonstrate Here, fill it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on your shoulders. It's a personal massage area. Put it on your shoulders. But I was surprised. I was just like, oh, damn. Look at that. Just right there. Just anyone just grab one up, no matter what age they are. I'm like, good for you, Walmart. Good for you. Wait, wait. Snap out of that crude shell of yours. <laughs> crude shell, they said. Crude. Oh, crude. I, I, yeah, I was surprised. I was very surprised to see that there. And the, and the packaging, uh, it is, I'm not going to show it. Maybe we'll put it on the Buko Boys page, actually. But the, we haven't, I haven't posted on there forever. <laughs> but you need to. I know, I'm so busy. And then when I'm not busy, I'm fishing. You're napping. I, I need to nap more. I don't <laughs> nap for shit. I, I just randomly fall asleep in the wrong time. <laughs> like when you're driving. You're like, well, autopilot. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you just put your Tesla on autopilot and then take you. I'm so tired right now. Autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I keep saying speaking of a lot. Speaking of Tesla, <laughs> over the weekend. Oh, that guy that got arrested? No, go on. Oh. Tell me that story, though. <laughs> Some stupid guy, he keeps putting his <laughs> Tesla in autopilot, okay. jumping in the back seat, and then just watching everybody's reactions. Oh. And uh, he... I thought you can't do that, though. You can't. Well, 
you can do that if you have so because you're supposed to hold on to the wheel. Yeah. And if you're not holding on the wheel, like every minute it says, "Hey, show that you know, give the wheel right. a little shake or whatever." If it doesn't feel your the weight so of your hands on there, there, right? Maybe thirty seconds yeah. or so. So, anyways, you can buy these counterweights. Some oh. genius asshole invented these counterweights to to clip to the to the wheel. Yeah. So it gives it that weight. Anyways, this guy keeps jump doing it and saying he's living his uh, what's he saying? His I gotta look this up. If, look it up real quick. This guy in his in his lifestyle he's living, but he keeps making fun of peasants and he's living some oh, golden. How do I look this up? Oh, guy who just got arrested in his Tesla, riding in the back seat of his Tesla. And, oh my god, this guy's an idiot. And he keeps. <laughs> but the way he was wording it was, yeah, that guy. The man arrested after repeatedly misusing Tesla's autopilot is a notorious Instagram wealth troll. Yes, but the things he says about it, and he keeps making these videos. He calls himself a, a his golden life, like, his golden lifestyle. But what what the hell is he calling it? Gosh, I don't know. And he keeps. And it's funny because he keeps calling everyone peasants. <laughs> it's hilarious. I can't see his name anywhere. They might not be giving him. Oh, it's lavish B. It's lavish bitch. Oh, but that's his Instagram handle. That's what, that's what you were saying. Oh, but I was assuming if it had anything else about that story of his, about what he was calling <laughs> people. Oh, he's got a bunch of Instagram. Oh, damn. Or it's a bunch of fake ones. I don't know. It, my life is like Louis Vuitton. Everyone wants it. Oh, so he's always like flossing and oh, go. flexing on. You made your bed, so sleep in it, peasants. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where he, where he got his money from. He's a trust fund baby, right? Gotta be. But why is he? I bet he is. Mostly trust fund babies are only flexing way harder than they should. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's usually those type of people. But yeah, he was talking about like, I guess, I oh, as soon as he got out of jail, he got arrested, right? Okay. As soon as he got a j- out of jail, <clears throat> he went back to the dealership, bought another Tesla, and did it again. <laughs> This stupid guy. What a Just maroon. to flex. Just to keep flexing. Wasting money. It's insane. So, so the story I was going to tell you about, it was, there was a UFC fight over the weekend. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm, I got to look at this guy's name. He's not a huge name, even though I, I'm familiar with him. He's not a huge name. Um, here we go. Benil Dariush. Never. Okay, he just fought Tony Ferguson and, and won unanimously. Unanimous, unanimously. And... Uh, he's doing his interview with Joe Rogan, and he just said, I want to do my call-out. Can I do a call-out? Joe Rogan, I'm calling out one of your friends. Elon Musk, <laughs> I'm calling out you. Where's my Tesla? I'm having a baby. I ordered my car. Where is it? It was hilarious. Joe Rogan was laughing. <laughs> you know, this is a, a, on paper oh, so, view. And so he had ordered it. and He just ordered waited. a Tesla. Yeah. He's still waiting. His wife's pregnant. And so he's, he wants his car, and, <laughs> and uh, it, it was funny. Um, this guy, he's actually a, a really, he, he's a really funny fighter. He, he, like, his personality is very funny. So it, it, was, it was a funny call out. <laughs> I enjoyed it. And I also enjoyed watching Tony get beat because I didn't like him. So, <laughs> so that was good for me. Nice. <laughs> Go on, though. You have another little nostalgia. Yes. Something that I, like. I got excited about the moment I found out about it. And I just found out about it today. Masters of the Universe. Say what? He Man. What? Prince Adam. Yes. That guy. Oh. Man. Coming out with a remake on Netflix. I'm so excited. But it's not a movie, it's a cartoon. Now there has been rumors of a new movie for years. Have you heard of these rumors? Um, I would hear things about it, but nothing ever came about. Nothing so I never did. I never like paid much attention to it unless I actually saw something, but I never saw anything, so yeah, there's been rumors for years. Not, yeah, nothing's ever come out of it. Same thing with like Mortal Kombat, but that finally happened. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, wasn't too happy about the, the actual movie itself, but it was entertaining. The fighting, some of the fighting scenes were cool. Yeah, I mean, there's never been a really good Mortal Kombat movie, so. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> and they ended this one like it's gonna like they're gonna do something. They they could go somewhere else for the story. Well, they're gonna do more. Well, if, if people want it, they uh, I've been not hearing people like Sub Zero got like four more movie contract. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen because people did not like this one. 
I heard a lot of bad reviews. If it made enough money, it don't matter. Well, how can you tell? Because now it either went to theaters or HBO Max. How can you really tell? I guess you can see the views. The views. But you can't tell... You know, because where people are spending the money to go to a mat or you know a theater experience, it's easy to see. You know, I have to tell you what, COVID and streaming has really messed up the numbers, the box box office numbers. Yeah, I bet you that is not going to be the same anymore. Yeah, definitely not. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say. Um, but that yeah. whole thing, there's going to be so many. Um, what's it? Oh, sorry, I just picked up something. But the. Uh, the cast. The cast on there. Yeah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so, sorry. I don't know who... Sorry, it's a business thing. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you guys wouldn't. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> so, the guy playing he oh, man Real quick, though. This is an animated series. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Yeah. So it's an animated series. Not, you know, what I was mentioning about was there was rumors that there was going to be a live action. Like they did in the 90s with, with Dolph. Yeah. But that's why I said it's an animated series. Um, or I said it was a cartoon. But anyways... Chris Wood. I don't know who this guy is. No. But he's going to play He-Man. A.K.A. Uh, Prince Adam. Yeah. Spoiler alert. You guys, Prince Adam. <laughs> for those of you who aren't here. From, where are they from? Narnia? Where are they from? Excelsior. <laughs> oh, gosh. I have to look this up now. Um, where? It, it's a stupid name like Apollonia. <laughs> or. Oh, God. Astrology. Uh, Astrologia. <laughs> I put he man lives in in hold on what was it showing up? Um, oh gosh, it, it's gone. But I was putting, I was googling he man lives and it's it was automat- automatically populated in garbage. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, keep going. I'll look. I'll find it. Um, Eternia. 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 Oh, is that where you slept in a garbage can? Yeah, 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 in a garbage can. <laughs> Eternia. Maybe that's where most people's action figures are. Oh, by the way, I had He-Man action figures. We had all the action figures. We this is why this is so Castle nostalgic. Grey School. We had... What was the... What was Skeletor's castle? I'll look that up. His castle... It was purple. purple. It was a Cobra something. I know, I'm just saying. And but it was purple and black compared to He-Man's green and... Green... Green and black. <laughs> Snake Mountain. Snake Mountain. Yes, so I had that toy. I had Snake Mountain in my yeah. room, and we had uh, kind of like our grandma's, our grandma's sister. Um, she would every time she stayed with us, she stayed in my room, but she hated that thing. It scared her. Really? Yeah. I don't remember this. I'm like, this isn't even an action figure. It's a. It's where the act they live. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but that Snake Mountain scared her. Interesting, because it had a, it had a, a it snake had kind of like a face microphone. Yes, yeah, so you could talk into it, and it changed your voice. Yeah. You go, rrr, rrr, and it had like an echoing sure effect. It sounded great on the microphone. <laughs> That's how you talk. Skeletor, do you some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he man, suck my ball. <laughs> Isn't that how he talks? Skeletor? Exactly. <laughs> you, <know. laughs> you should be in this animated series. I should, with all my voices I could do. <laughs> but there's going to be a, like a big, big cast. The cast looks good. Uh, Mark Hamill, who. Yeah. yeah. He's Luke in like Skywalker. almost every DC. Animated Any, series. Yeah, pretty much almost all animated series. He's part of it somehow in his many voices. But then uh, Lena Headey, she's the Cersei one. Cersei Lannister. Cersei. Cersei. So she's going to play Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn. Cersei again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's another Cersei. Yeah, she's yeah. She's going to carry on the same character. Um, but Sarah Michelle Gellar, she's going to play Tila. So what I okay? It's been a very long time since I've seen the cartoons. Uh-huh. So was Tila and He Man hooking up? I can't remember. Were they brother sister or were they? I can't. That's what I'm wondering. Or, I couldn't yeah, remember. I was that up to you? If He Man and Tila are a thing or, yeah, I can't remember. And but she she became. She had her own series too. Uh, who, who did she become? She turned into something. She, like. I don't know. I'll look that up too. Don't worry. Okay. I'm on this. Uh, Henry Rollins. Yes. He's going to be in this. Triclops. Do you remember Triclops? Did yeah, he have yeah. the head that changed? Yeah. It, was it, spin. Turned, it spin, yes. Yeah. But I don't remember what he... Uh, Tila is the daughter of Sorceress. She's the daughter of Sorceress. Man at Arms is... Oh, gosh. 
can't remember. Oh yeah, Man of Arms is her dad, right? Yes. I remember that. So Man of Arms, but isn't Sorceress, she's evil, right? She hangs out well, with that's Skeletor. That's Evil Oh, that's Evil Lynn. Yes. Then who's the Sorceress? Um, she's, a, like, she's like a hawk or bird thing. And Man at Arms just was like, oh, that's a sexy looking bird. <laughs> Look at that sexy bird. Was she Italian? Right. <laughs> I don't remember other relationships. <laughs> Did, didn't he jump really high? Didn't he have like these legs that made him bounce? And he jumped really high. No, no, no. He was like, he had a green body. Oh, yes. He was, okay. He was like a bodyguard. Yeah. There was another guy that jumped. Yeah. And he had like a juggernaut body. Yes. <laughs> goodness sakes. I don't, oh my goodness. But, Damn, um, like, look at the cast. Alicia Silverstone. She's going to be in here. Good for her getting work again. <laughs> <laughs> She's Queen Marlena, but who the hell is Queen Marlena? <laughs> is that Tila's mom? I don't remember. Is that who Man at Arms was boning down? And I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to find something. You know where he, you know where Man at Arms was not. Where the contraceptive aisle. <laughs> no, yes. He's over here having Tila's. <laughs> and then Justin Long, he's in here. Okay, Justin Long. Justin Long, but he's gonna be. Um, who is oh, it? Chris Wood. Uh, Chris Wood, uh, He-Man, um, Prince Adam, he was on that Supergirl series. Okay, he I was the watched other, that. He was the other Mon-El or something like that, the other person from Crypt- Krypton that arrived. you never seen it, but if you, if you watched it. Oh, you know who this... Oh, guess who's going to play Man-at-Arms? Davos. Yep, Davos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cersei. And a lot of cat. A, lot of, a couple casts from uh, Game of Thrones here. Yes. Cersei and Davos is in here. So I'm trying to like... Oh, and then Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. He's yeah. going to be in here as... Stinkor. Stinkor. As a, a, a skunk. Yes. Skunk man. Candyman, Tony Todd. Okay, and who is he playing? Scarecrow. I don't remember that. Never even heard of this guy. Anyway, I found this image. Oh, yes. this guy that's going to be playing... Uh, is he playing Moss Man? Yes. He, Alan Oppenheimer. He is the original Skeletor. Oh, voice. and Man at Arms. And, yeah, he played... And, and Cringer. Cringer, the, the cringy cat. Before he became Battle Cat. Yeah. Was Triclops. Okay, I remember him. See, there's Sorceress, like the Falcon yeah, chick. Okay. Yeah, she's a pretty bird. <laughs> See? <laughs> Orko. I don't know who that guy is playing Orko. Oh, he's from Ant Man. Oh, from Tick. Oh, from, uh, Tick. Tick. He played the Moth. The Moth, yeah. He, I need to watch. So that series, I, I couldn't get into it, but it was the acting was pretty funny. Okay. But it, just the storyline itself kind of. Yeah, I found I found this. So I guess it's going to be called Master of the Universe Revelation. Is the whole thing in the series called? So I found this. Anyway, I found what I'm, what I'm looking at is this. Uh, it's like a poster or something or made up thing. It shows all the uh, animated characters and who's playing their voices and what they're maybe famous. For. I hope this is like more of a adult themed cartoon. I hope it's on like mm. rated TV Y seven. I hope it's at least PG or I'm hoping MA. It it does seem like some of those things they bring back. Well, because there's a thing towards us. As nostalgically adults. as adults yeah. yeah I mean I would hope so anyways because yeah. even though I know this was geared towards kids and the action figures for kids and everything guess what we're all grown up now we want to see gore when it comes to this battling some real shit man yeah I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it it's, it's coming out July 23rd uh, I don't know if I hope they just release it all at once I saw somewhere that it has 8 episodes already so I don't know if that's going to be season one, part one, or what. I hope it's not a letdown. I know. Did you watch that Thundercast that came out like, gosh, five, six, seven, eight years ago? Yeah, I watched it with you. That was kind of a letdown. That was such a letdown. <laughs> it was like early years. And we were like trying to get into it. Yeah. And well, it, that's right. That's when we were boomerang back to our parents. Yeah. And we were trying to get into it. And it was just, it was so, it was, because it was geared yeah. towards little kids. Yeah. And it was whole, it was hard to follow it was yeah. hard to like we wanted to like it it just was hard to well, it's so hard to like it yeah and it was just like come on do something cool finally no nothing no. nothing cool ever happened no 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? Anything else on that? No. Hmm. Is that it for today? I think that might be. Oh, all right then. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We appreciate you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.